El Estepario Siberiano. He's the god of drum covers. He's also the groove father. And for the last eight years, he's been turning heads and going viral as people share what he can do as a percussionist. Now, today is one of the two most important videos he's ever put on his channel. That being the first one he did eight years ago that started all this and today's. My name is Old School Nerd, and I'll tell you why right after this. The Cost. The name of the band is The Cost. All the rumors, all the thought processes, everything that people have speculated, he has a band now. It's his band. Him, two other musicians. It's called The Cost. The name of the song is Not For Me. And the reason why this is one of the two most important videos he's ever done is, well, the first one he ever posted was him taking a chance on himself, growing in front of all of us to become who he is now. And then today, to literally lay himself open with a new band that he can't say, I'm joining another band and this is it because it's someone else's thing. No, 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 no. This is his project. So now he's doing it again. He's starting from scratch. He's doing something new and we're all going to be part of it. Are you ready? I'm going to, we're going to do a reaction. I will stop it a few times because I, whatever happens, this is so anticipated. I know I'm going to have thoughts. Now, before I press play, I'm watching it live right now on YouTube. So I have not seen or heard any of this, but I can tell you this. Before you speculate, before you cast judgment or freak out, say it's the greatest thing you've ever heard or the worst thing you've ever heard. Remember, if you're a fan of this man, you remember last week's drum cover, at the end of which he sat down and told us everything we can anticipate and why we need to dampen down the hype engine and let this happen. Are you ready? You're not, but I'm gonna press play anyway. It's really weird to see an El Estepario Sibiriano video on his channel that starts with a guitar being played. When has that happened? Let's go. Are there vocals? Okay, there's vocals. Now, before we get into vocals, um, let's stick to what we're just realizing. Okay, if you remember last week, he said, do not expect one-handed Slipknot cover style on this. He said last week, it's going to be not what you're used to. He said last week, we're starting off with something not necessarily simple, but something that is reduced in the craziness like he wasn't going to go off and do triplets and 168s and see how much he can do the idea is this is not a drum cover this is him creating a unique sound with two other musicians by the way that bass line is smooth and really chunky don't know who this guy's name is i'm hoping we find out today um can you imagine the guy uh, you get a phone call and uh, he, uh, El Estepario calls you and he's like, you want to be my bass player? And then you go off and you're on YouTube and you're searching and you're watching his videos and you're like, fuck no, I don't want to be the bass player for that guy. That would be, I don't want to die. I, I like my fingerprints. I don't want to rub them off. But that's the point. 
He told you last week, this isn't about how far I can go, how far I can push it. The idea is to create original music and his drumming is going to fit the song they are creating. So for all those who right now I'm watching in the chat going, this is just kind of normal. This is kind of blah. This is kind of bland. Dude, it's not going to be one-handed Slipknot playing. If that's what you came for, you've literally reduced him to a gimmick. He's not a gimmick. He's a world-class musician, a percussionist, a professional. I'm in. All right, we got vocals. Let's go. Like the step up. You broke down inside all the right down tonight. Wait it. I broke down the wall on your side. Nice. So uh, don't worry, I'll back it up so we can enjoy that together. Um, love his voice, love his style. Um, for those of you who want to know, uh, this will resonate with every fan of Sleep Token, except you can actually see them. And there's no face paint or uh, player start window with your you know character that, that spews out metal AI things. Um, <laughs> If you're a Sleep Token fan and you've seen the videos, you know what I'm talking about. Um, okay, uh, very groovy style. Um, I do enjoy the chording. Now, three musicians. So what does that mean? Well, it means that uh, unlike a couple of multiple metalcore bands, we have multiple guitars filling in the melodic space with guitars. That means that your rhythm section will become melodic. That means that a lot of that groove you hear on the low end yeah, the bass player is just not playing just the low end downbeats. He's going to put in some groove. He's going to put in some drive in there, similar to the way Ginger does. You know, Eugene from Ginger, outstanding bass player, but him and Vlad together make that sound. Nothing against Roman. Roman is the guitarist. That's where the weight and the power comes from. But that groove that everybody loves about Ginger comes from that rhythm section. Can you imagine being in a rhythm section with Ella Sapario Sibiriano? No. You can't, but I will tell you this. Um, I love everything they're doing because it's clean. The only thing I don't like about it, light bars. I hate light bars. Oh my God, everybody's using light bars. Oh, stop. Oh, it's so, it's so 2019. Anyway, <laughs> just kidding. Uh, do whatever you want, it's your band. Now, here's my favorite part. Um, this does remind me of a lot of different bands, but it is very unique. Um, I'm interested to see where this progresses. You guys remember the cover from last week. If you don't, go back and watch it. And not just the song, watch where he sits down and tells you about this coming today. Um, he tells you that our first single will not be what you th would think would come from them. If you were thinking everything, mm, they want to start and develop. So by the time they get to their fifth, sixth 20th 30th song we could be anywhere we could be tool we could be um we could be just name the band we could be slipknot we we could be rush we could be anything or they could just stay the beatles we don't know that's the best part 
One of my favorite parts about this whole process is the cost. You've never heard them before, ever. We're, could you imagine if you were actually there the first time the Beatles or Metallica or Led Zeppelin or Rush or Tool or any of the bands that you grew up loving or even now loving, if you were there the first time they did anything? No, because nobody knew about them. Like everybody, like there's 1,500 people watching this premiere right now. I'm not kidding. Could you imagine the first video you ever released? 1,500 people were watching it doesn't happen. Well, it does now. Let's finish it out and see where we go from here. The mountain air is so cold Like the stories that you told When you dance, when you smile When you walk through the fire All the light and tonight Waiting Get out I look down the wall on your side I never should have put it up Needed to shelter my mind You're never gonna know When everything else is over You're just another memory Maybe the test has just begun I like this a lot. Let's, is there a thing after? Hey guys, how are you doing? I'm very happy and very proud to be here sharing this first song with all of you guys. But the first things first, just introduce yourself. Get in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. How are you doing guys? Uh, my name is Peter Connolly and I am the singer and the guitarist of this amazing group. I feel so privileged to be What's the name? What's the name of the group? Say it. The name of the group. The name of the group is The Cost. Uh, you will be probably hear it everywhere. <laughs> hey everyone, my name's Chris. I'm um, the bass player from The Cost. Uh, it's an absolute pleasure to be with you guys today and with these guys on my right. Uh, we can't wait for you to hear what we've got coming. Okay, so as weird as it sounds, this song was recorded literally yesterday, okay? This video was not going to be about this specific song. We had a complete... This is literally like, you got a song? Yeah, uh, yeah. There we go. And record. <laughs> That's awesome. Banger that we wanted to record. However, this guy right here came up with this song on last Friday, I think. Yeah, not even a week ago. Yeah, he had a brilliant idea and we really think that this song has something special. We think that's a little bit closer maybe to the sound that we're looking forward. However, we've been working together for maybe six or eight months, so we've been pretty, pretty busy yeah. and we got a lot of material. This is the first video, but there are going to be hundreds of them. So please let us know what you think on the comments. And there are a couple of things that I wanted to say. The first one is that we are very well aware that a lot of people are going to react to this video. So we just wanted to say thanks to the bats. And of course, we are going to share all of those reaction videos on all of our social media channels. And of course, we cannot wait to see you very soon on all the videos we can hit right yeah. yeah so with all that being said guys thank you so much it's been an absolute pleasure we are going to be reading all of your comments thank you so much peter chris and me thank you Cheers. guys stay safe and take care bye all right so let's back it up so we can talk about it real quick um so peter and chris wow sounds like the ex-members of kiss that was a joke shut up if you know your history um, also, um, okay. Um, 
Here's, here's how I feel about it, okay? Already while watching the live premiere, I saw a lot of people in the comments felt let down because this wasn't periphery or Slipknot or Dream Theater or an exercise into how much musical shit you can jam in to five minutes. That's not the point, okay? Remember, arguably the greatest band in the world is the Beatles. Sorry, I didn't make that list. Someone else did. But at the end of it all, Ringo Starr is a really good drummer. Really good. But the style is four on the four, classic rock. John Bonham, Keith Moon, Danny Carey from Tool, even Lars from Metallica. They have a particular style and it fits into their style. Joey Jordanson was one of the greatest drummers of all time. But even El Estepario Sibiriano says he's not as good as the drummer from Infinite Annihilator or this drummer. Even he has heroes that he goes, I can't do that. He knows it's about style. Now, the problem is, but also the greatness of this is, this band has a wonderful opportunity with an already developed fan base that El Estepario has developed over the last eight years. Here's the kicker. The development of the fan base is that he has brought in people from all musical genres that want to come in, click and go, what the hell is he going to do to my favorite song? And then they watch it and they go, oh my God. It's not about how much you can do. It's what you're creating. El Estepario Sibiriano, if he got into a time machine and went back to 1964 and Ringo Starr died on the airplane flight to New York for the Ed Sullivan Theater when the Beatles debuted in the United States and they're like, that Spanish guy, he could take Ringo's place. It wouldn't work. Now, I take it back. El Estepario would have played it exactly like Ringo intended because that's what the band sound is. Same case in point. El Estepario Sibiriano gets in a time machine, goes back to Madison Square Garden, song remains the same, Led Zeppelin, John Bottom doesn't make the show, he would still do exactly the way Led Zeppelin does it because that's the sound they're creating. Same thing with Tool, Brush. You name the band, it's the band's sound. Now, if he goes in and he tells Chris and Peter, Peter, you wrote an amazing song. But my fan base needs me to have them hold my beer and I'm going to take this thing to another world. It doesn't work. It wouldn't work. Can Chris, the new guy, the new bass player that everyone says, could you imagine being the bass player having to play with this guy? He's the guy who is going to be playing bass with Alice Tapati Sabidiano. Here's the thing. He just said... They've been working together for six to eight months and they have hundreds of songs in the can. So this isn't just something they're just winging it. They have a connection. They've all gotten together and they're like, this is our sound. I love this. This is going to go on my playlist. There is, a, there is a dark brooding groove in here. There's some funk. There's some jazz in that vibe, that groove in that rhythm section that I absolutely love. Chris apparently can write the hell out of some lyrics and riffs. They're going to be telling stories. And like El Estepario said, get ready. We had a banger that we recorded and we were ready to go. But Peter had this idea and we loved it. That means creativity, synergy, and at the end of the day, the three of them get together and go, yeah, I know we were going to shock the people, but man, this comes from the heart. Let's do it. That's the sign of something you're going to want to be a part of. My name is Old School Nerd. I'm just a reactor on YouTube. And all of you suggested that I start doing reactions to Ellis Tapato Sibiriano, and it's been an amazing ride. And with that, we will continue to do so, both any, any content that he makes himself, but especially... We're going to support his project with Peter and Chris. Welcome into my world, guys. You guys are amazing. It's called The Cost. And I have a feeling, could The Cost be the sleep token of 2024? I don't know. And to me, it doesn't matter. 
at the end of the day, are they making music from the heart? Are they making music together and they're telling a story that comes from them? Yes. And that's what we're excited about. Are you guys going to have a hoodie? Because I need, because I need a new hoodie. I mean, I'm still wearing this one, but I need more. All right, guys, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching everybody. And if you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you wanna subscribe, right over there. A big thank you to all my Patreons out there for everything you do. And if you want more content like this, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.